Cindy from Pure Simple Photoshop. Um, I just wanted to uh, show how to create new catalogs in Lightroom. Um, so it's that time of year again, it's the beginning of the year, uh, 2018, and we're all getting to the point where we want to think about our organization skills in Lightroom. And one thing that happens is sometimes your catalog just gets too big and you'd like to split it or you'd like to start a new one. If you're planning on starting a new one for 2018, that answer is very simple. You just go up here to file, click new catalog, call it what you want to call it, 2018. I'm going to store this in my picture file, but I could store it on my external hard drive as well. The only restriction is, um, is that you should not have it on a network accessed drive, a NAS drive. And that's because the uh, network speeds have a tendency to be a bit too slow for Lightroom's write speed, and it can really slow down your system. So Lightroom actually specifically says not to use a network drive. So any USB that is uh, any USB hard drive that is connected directly to your system, you can totally save your catalog on. Um, I do prefer to have my catalog on my internal hard drive and I keep my older catalogs on my external hard drives, but that's me. So if I just want to start a new catalog for 2018, this is all I do. 2018 pictures hit create. My catalog is created. But what if you want to split your existing catalog and get rid of some of the older things? You can do that as well fairly simply in Lightroom. So all you need to do is select the pictures that you want to move. So this is uh, photos from my son. Um, so I'm selecting photos that are from 2001 to 2015. And then all I'm going to do is go up here to file, go export as catalog. and Lightroom is going to give me a similar window that we had just a minute ago. I'm going to save this as photos 2011 to 2015 as my catalog title in pictures. Again, I can save it on any hard drive that's directly connected to my computer. Now, the one thing to notice here is there's a couple of options. Uh, export selected photos only. I actually don't have any photos selected. And if I do that, you'll see that there's only the one photo that's showing. I'm going to untick that and you'll see that it's picking up all of the photos in all of these folders. Um, export negative files. What that will do is make a copy of your original file and uh, put it where you have put your catalog. Now, most cases, you're not going to want to do that. Um, if you are wanting to move the files from your internal hard drive to an external hard drive, then you could do this. And what it will do is copy all of your files from your internal to your external or from one external to another, whatever. Um, but if you are happy with where your files are and you don't want to move them, you just want to make a new catalog for them, then you want to untick that button. Um, build or include smart previews. I don't want you know, I'm not editing these. I don't need to go back through six years worth of work, five years worth of work and get smart previews done. So I don't want those, but I will include any previews that might happen to be already on my system. All right. And so that's all we're going to do. We're going to hit export as catalog up here. You're going to see it's thinking about it and it will take a couple of minutes. But if I had connected and made it so that I was copying all of my uh, images, exporting my images. It would take a very long time because it would create a copy of all 26,000 images that were on my system. Uh, while it's thinking about this, a couple of things that you should do before you do this. Um, the first thing is that you should have your system backed up. You should, before doing any major file moving, make sure that you have your system backed up somewhere. Uh, on my particular system, I am running a Mac, and so I have Time Machine, and all of my files are backed up there. But I also have my Lightroom catalog backed up. If this um, goofs up, I want to make sure that I don't lose any of my information. Um, the other thing that you should do before doing anything like this is make sure that you have saved your edits. Um, it's one thing that people tend to forget about doing in Lightroom. Um, which is saving the edits to an XMP uh, or a sidecar file. It has to be done separately. The command for it is uh, Command S. Um, it's finishing my catalog and it's done now. 
Um, if you go up to uh, metadata, you'll see it's here, save metadata to file. And what that will do is it will create a file that has all of your edits in it. It's a really good habit to get into to do that every once in a while. Um, while your edits are saved inside the catalog file, if your catalog file becomes corrupt, um, you will lose your edits if you if you haven't backed up your catalog file, of course. Um, if you want to use your files in other programs, saving it to the metadata will mean that other programs that can read metadata will pull that information back up. Um, and if you're using file types like uh, TIFF, uh, DNG, JPEG, the saves to the metadata actually save within the same file. It will only create the sidecar file if your um, images are in raw format, um, so CR2s, um, Nikon's NEF, uh, Sony's AR2, I think, I can never remember that one, ARW, ARW. Um, it will create a sidecar file showing your, um, your edits, and you want to make sure that those files always stay together. All right, let's see if this is thinking about this yet. So it's actually doing the previews. I can click on here and it'll show me what it's thinking about, and it's copying previews that are existing. Okay, so that took a few minutes, but uh, here we are. Sometimes you will get this error message and you'll see that it says that it successfully exported photos, but there are some problems. And what were the problems? Well, photo previews could not be found because I didn't have any. I didn't make any previews. We didn't have any, these are old uh, things. And so the previews, there isn't any. So I don't really care about that. And that's the only error that showed up. So if you get an error like this um, and it's just telling you your previews could not be found, this is not a big deal, especially if you're moving older pictures because your preview cache gets deleted um, every once in a while, depending on your setup. So not a big deal. I'm just going to hit OK and it's going to finish doing the uh, catalog export. You can see it's thinking here. And there we are done. And now let's check out our new catalog. If we go to open catalog and go to wherever you decided you were going to save it. Um, so I put it in pictures and here it is. So it will have created a folder titled whatever you titled your catalog and there's your catalog. And then it will also have a preview data file, but there's our catalog. And if I hit open, it should open the same catalog. I'm going to relaunch Lightroom. I do wish that the opening and closing of catalogs was a little easier in Lightroom. It always has to uh, close all the way out and then open all the way back up again, which does take a couple of minutes. Okay, so it took Lightroom a minute to close and reopen. Um, and here we are back in Lightroom. This is now my new, this is my new catalog. Um, and it's got the photos that we had um, asked it to put in. And all of my edits are there. I can see that everything is exactly how I left it. Um, I'm going to go back. <clears throat> so now that we have more than one catalog, you can go here to open catalog and it will show you any catalog you have on your system. If you go to recent, it will show you the two catalogs that I've recently opened. Um, this recent list can be up to, I think it's 10. You can change it in preferences, how many it shows, which makes it a little faster to split between. But every time you uh, switch catalogs, it will always come up with this relaunch, uh, which is kind of annoying. It does take um, a minute or two to close and reopen. Okay, so now we're back on my original uh, catalog. And the last step of this whole process is that you need to... Um, remove the the remove the images that you move to your new catalog from your old catalog so that you don't have them in two uh, on two separate catalogs it kind of defeats the purpose if you leave them there um, so the easiest way i found to do this is to go to catalog on this uh, list now if catalog isn't showing it sometimes doesn't right click and just make sure it's ticked 
Um, and you just right click anywhere on this bar and you'll get this menu. See, because you can turn off what shows here. If you look under catalog, you'll see that there's one that's called previous export as catalog and it will have the number of photos that you exported. Um, this is a really good way to select the same photos. You'll ensure that you're only removing photos that have been moved to the other catalog this way. And so all you do is uh, click on there. That will give you all your photos and then you want to go command A to select them all or control A if you're on a PC. And then you need to right click and choose remove photos. Now there's a couple of windows that may or may not show up here uh, depending on your system. The first one is going to be this one. Um, if you have publishing services, I use Pixie Set, um, a Pixie Set plugin to move my files up to Pixie Set. I also use a Facebook plugin. If I remove these photos from that, I won't be able to change them in the future from Lightroom. And that's fine. I don't need to do that from here. So I'm going to go remove all services. When you're removing the files from Lightroom, you're going to get this message. Um, do you want to delete them from your disk or just remove them from the Lightroom catalog? And we want to make sure that you only choose remove. Delete from disk will delete your pictures off of your computer. And since we didn't make a copy of them, we didn't uh, copy them when we made the export, export as catalog, you got to make sure that you don't delete them here because if you do, they will be gone. And you'll notice that because I'm doing more than a thousand photos, um, it will not be able to, to come back. So be very careful here, but you just want to hit remove and not hit delete from disk. That would be bad. So we're going to hit remove and it actually takes a, a few minutes to do that. <clears throat> but that is the last step. And now I have a catalog that has uh, my most recent photos on it from 2016, 2017 and a brand new catalog that has all the older photos from 2011 to 2015. All right, I hope that that helps you. I, uh, I hope that that made it clear how to do this. And yeah, have a great day. If you wanna learn more, click here.